Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on Max Terms in Discrete Mathematics, ORR Digital Logic Design, ORR Switching Theory and Logic Design. So this Max Term concept is very important in the above mentioned three courses. Okay. In the previous video, we are already discussed about Mintum's concept. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about max terms concept. Okay. What is max term? How many number of max terms are possible if n is equal to 2? How many number of max terms are possible if n is equal to 3? That are the points we have to discuss in this video. Okay. Now, suppose let us consider n is equal to two statement variables okay that are p and q so that means p and q are the two statement variables so that is n is equal to two how many number of max terms are possible that is two power n number of max terms are possible where n is nothing but number of statement variables so here n is equal to 2 so, so 2 value is substituted in the place of n there are, then we are getting 4 so 4 match terms are possible if number of uh, statement variables n is equal to 2 what are the 4 match terms are there okay what are the 4 match terms possible okay suppose P is one statement variable, Q is another statement variable. Okay, now these two variables are connected by using disjunction. Disjunction is nothing but R connective. Okay, this is one match term. Okay, next one. I am taking negation P is one statement variable and Q is another statement variable. These two are connected by using R connective. So this is one max term. Okay. Next one, I am taking variable P. I am taking negation of Q. These two are connected by using R connective. Next one, I am taking negation P is one statement variable. Negation Q is another statement variable. These two variables are connected by using R connective. Okay, so this is the first match term, this is the second match term, this is the third match term and this is the fourth match term. With the n is equal to 2, so how many number of match terms are possible? 2 power n, where n is equal to 2, 2 power 2 that is equal to 4 match terms are possible. In the first match term, okay, both variables are taken in the form of uh, normal variables. So here we are taking variable P, we are taking variable Q. In the second match term, I am taking negation P, I am taking Q is another statement variable, negation P is another statement variable. These two are connected by using R connective. In the third match term, I am taking normal variable P and uh, negation Q is another statement variable. These two are connected by using R connective. In the fourth max term, I am taking negation of variable P and a negation of variable Q. These two are connected by using R connective. Okay. So, these are the four max terms are possible when N is equal to 2. If you are observing the each and every max term, okay, here P is there but negation P is not there. Here Q is there, negation Q is not there. Here negation P is there but P is not there. Here Q is there but negation Q is not there. Here P is there but negation P is not there. Here negation Q is there but Q is not there. Here negation P is there but P is not there. Here negation Q is there but Q is not there. So 
एट ए टाइम इन ईच एंड एवरी मैच टर्न ओके ए वेरिएबल और इट्स नेगेशन बट नॉट बोथ अपियर ओनली वंस ओके सो हियर पी इज देयर बट देयर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ नेगेशन पी हियर क्यू इज देयर बट देयर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ नेगेशन क्यू हियर नेगेशन पी इज देयर देयर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ पी Here Q is there. There is no possibility of negation Q. Here P is there. There is no possibility of negation Q. Here negation Q is there. There is no possibility of Q is there. Here negation P is there. There is no possibility of P. Here negation Q is there. There is no possibility of Q. Okay. So for the number of variables is equal to two, there are four match terms are possible. okay now what is match term a match term consists of conjunctions ah uh, sorry a match term consists of disjunctions okay disjunctions is nothing but or connective okay while in the case of min term a min term consists of conjunctions whereas a match term consists of disjunctions in which a variable or its negation but not both appear only once if the normal variable is there there is no possibility of negation is there in the same match term if the negation of that variable is there there is no possibility of the normal variable okay either normal variable or its negation but not both appear only once okay next one in each and every min term or max term both variables okay or either in normal form or in its negation form should be there otherwise it is not a min term or it is not a max term here both variables are there either in negation form or in normal form okay here one variable is negation p but another variable is in normal form okay normal form is nothing but there is no negation okay here normal variable if p is there but here negation of q is there here both variables have the negation so negation p negation q okay so now uh, p and q are two statement variables how many number of possible truth values that is 2 power 2 that is four possible truth values now how we are writing the max term okay in the case of max term okay if it is true then it can be taken as negation p if it is true then it can be taken as negation q okay if it is false i am taking p if it is false i am taking q okay here p value is true is nothing but i am taking negation p q value is true is nothing but negation q both are connected by using or connective because a max term is a uh, consists of disjunctions okay next one p value true is nothing but negation p q value is false is nothing but q both are connected by using or connective next p value false means i am taking p q value is true i am taking negation q both are connected by using or connective next p value is false i am taking p q value is false i am taking q both are connected by using or connective for two variables n is equal to 2 how many number of max terms are possible four max terms are possible for n variables the number of max terms are possible is 2 power n okay observe these four min four max terms okay no two max terms are equal okay this max term is not equal to this max term this max term is not equal to this max term this max term is not equal to this max term this max term is not equal to this max term this max term can does not equal to this max term that means simply we can say that no two max terms are equal in the same way no two min terms are equal okay next one i am taking suppose uh, uh, for uh, three variables so that is uh, n is equal to 3 
three variables are P, Q and R. How many number of possible truth values are there? 2 power n that is equal to 2 power 3 that is equal to 8 possible truth values are there. For each and every possible truth values, I am writing one max term. That is uh, 8 possible truth values are there. 8 max terms are possible. Okay. So first max term I am writing P value is true. That is nothing but negation P. Q value is true. That is nothing but negation Q. R value is true. That is nothing but negation R. Three variables are connected by using R connective. Okay. In the same way remaining. So here negation P or here negation Q or here only R because R value is false. Next here negation P or Q or negation R. Here uh, negation P or Q value false means Q and R value false means we are taking only R. Okay. Next P value false means I am taking P. Q value true means I am taking negation Q. R value true means I am taking negation R. Three variables are connected by using R connective. Next one. P value is false means P. Q value fee false true means negation Q. R value false means I am taking uh, R only. Okay. Next false false that means p r q r negation r because r value is true here this one p r q r r okay so these are the eight max terms are possible whenever n is equal to 3 okay next one so if i am taking two variables these are the max terms are possible okay so in each case for for all possible truth values of components, okay, for the first possible truth values, okay, this match term is false only, okay. For this possible truth values, this match term is false only. For this possible truth values, this match term is false only. For this uh, possible truth values, this match term is only false, okay. In observe these four max terms, four max terms in each and every column of that uh, max term only for one possible truth values of components, this max term is false. Okay. Okay. For this possible truth values, so this max term is false. For this possible truth values, this max term is false. For this possible truth values, this max term is possible. For this possible truth value, this max term is possible. Okay. So, each and every max term contains only one true truth value true for exactly one combination of truth values of the variables P and Q. Okay. Here it is false only for this combination. Here this is false only for this combination. Here this is false only for this combination. Here this is false only for this combination. Okay. Now we go for the definition. Okay. A match term consists of disjunctions. So in all match terms we are containing the disjunctions. In which each statement variable or its negation. If P is there, negation P is not there. Here Q is there, negation Q is not there. Here P is there, negation P is not there. Here negation Q is there, Q is not there. Okay. A match term consists of disjunctions in which each statement variable or its negation. If it is P is there, but negation P is not there. If Q is there, but negation Q is not there. Okay. But not both appear only once. Okay. This is the definition of the match term. These are the match terms are possible for uh, n is equal to 2. These are the match terms are possible for n is equal to 3. Okay. So, 
each and every max term contains the true value for all possible for exactly one possible truth values of p and q okay we can observe the min terms and max terms so min terms are the complement of max terms max terms are the complement of min terms okay this is the description about the max term in the previous video we have to discuss about uh, min terms both are very very important if you understanding these uh, uh, min terms and max terms concept now we have to solve uh, solve pdnf and pcnf problems so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel name so develop srinivasarao thank you